What's up YouTube? In today's video, I am going to be explaining to you how to use Capture One's new feature, Combine Masks, to do things that you really couldn't do in Capture One before. Uh, it really helps increase your productivity and it helps you to do some creative edits. So let's just jump straight into Capture One. Okay, so we're inside of Capture One now and Capture One has really added this tool called Combine Masks um, because in the past, to use mask, you only use one mask on one layer. But now you can combine masks in situations where you can use multiple masks on the same layer, or you could tell your mask to exclude certain parts of your image or um, include only certain parts of your image. And that really increases your creative ability as a editor inside of Capture One. So I'll give you some examples. Now, if you come to your layers tab here inside of Capture One, and you see combined mask right now is grayed out. That's because we don't have any new layers. But if you create a brand new layer here, you see that combined mask comes up. And we're just going to click on this little arrow here to come down and you can see add, subtract and intersect. And then you have a bunch of options here. By the way, if you're not seeing these options in your Capture One, you're probably not using the current version of Capture One and you might need to update your Capture One to get the combined mask feature. Okay. So the first one I really want to explain is add. And that allows you to add multiple masks to a certain layer. So we'll go to this image here, for example. And normally, if I wanted to darken this curtains on the left and on the right, I could just select it all and darken it. But what happens if I want to use a gradient mask so it feels more natural, the light feels like it's darkening and then it lightens up a bit. So I'll create a new layer and press L for gradient mask. And I'm just going to draw this like this. And we can press M to show the mask. Now we have one mask on this side already. Now we can go down here to combine mask and click on add. And then if we say add, we can add another linear gradient to this mask. So we do that and we click on create mask. And then that allows us to be able to add a second linear gradient like this. So that way we have two linear gradients on this mask and we can adjust them independently of each other by selecting the one you want here. So we have two masks like that and then we can press enter to hide. And if we wanted to do something like reduce brightness, for example, we could just reduce brightness and reduce brightness of both sides like that. So that's an amazing feature that allows you to express yourself just a little bit more. Now, something that you also have to know is that you don't just stop at two. If for any reason I wanted to, um, let's say darken another part of this image, like the top part here, I could still right click on this and add another mask. And let's say this time, let's add a radial gradient mask. And now I can click on this and drag it over here. And then that allows me to create a separate mask just on the top here so basically i have three masks in this image and you can just keep on creating masks so that's really what add does i think it's an amazing feature and yeah i can't wait to to try it out even more so we're going to move on now to intersect um or let's move on to subtract rather so move on to subtract and in subtract i'm showing you this image here that i shot and because i shot it from the top down in terms of like my key light you can see that the top part of this image here is a bit dark. Now to fix that, I could do a couple of things. I could create a new gradient mask and then just drag that all the way down like this. And if I press M, you can see what my gradient mask is doing in terms of um, adding a mask to that area of the image. Now, if I increase the brightness here like this now, um, you would see that it starts to brighten up her hair as well. And I don't really want to do that. I want the mask to affect just the background. Now to make it affect just the background, I could right click on this and click on subtract. Or you could come to combine masks, click on subtract and ask it to subtract your subject. Okay, so it says sub subtract subject rather and create mask. And once you do that, you allow Capture One a second or two to do its thing. And once it has done that and we press M, you see that our mask completely omits the subject and just select whatever is behind the subject. Now we could also do things like if I pressed on L, we could then adjust this um, based off of how we want it to be. And that's really the power with this is that I can create this and tell it to completely 
not affect my subject and I could do anything I want with my mask really so once we do that I can press M and just like that we've been able to adjust the top of this image without affecting our subjects now the third one that we're going to show and explain in today's video is intersect so I explain intersect in just a second now, intersect basically tells you that I want my mask to only show up in the area where these two things intersect so I'll explain um, briefly. So I create a brand new layer, right? And let's say I want to create another gradient. And I, I, I've been using gradients a lot because that's really where this tool shines. And if I want to brighten the left side of her face a little bit, maybe say the left bottom side of my subject, I could just create this mask here. And if I press M, you will see what the mask is doing like that. And right now it's affecting both the background and the subject. Now we could right click on this and ask it to subtract the subject like we did before, or we could right click on it and add it to intersect and say interte intersect with subject. So what that does is that it is only going to show up in the areas where your subject is. So only where your mask intersects with your subjects will it show up. And just like that, you see that we're able to create a gradient like this that affects just this part of the subject. And we can do things like increase brightness like this or we could uh, increase you know whatever it is you want to do really this is not really about what is possible or what you want to do is about what is possible so we can increase brightness like that or increase saturation and really do and undo what we want to do i mean you can always go in and then adjust it but you can also always go in and right click and subtract from certain areas if you wanted to but if you did that then you wouldn't be able to adjust the mask going forward the big advantage to this as well is that if you have a bunch of pictures that are shot in similar situations you could copy this right so if you copied the adjustments you did here and you went to another image and let's just reset this image for example and then we applied it here you would see that that particular mask would also look for the subjects in this image. Sorry, I had desaturated the background in the other image. But you can see that it does the same thing, even though in this image, your subject is in a completely different place. So I'll just show you one last example and um, of this tool in action. And I'll show you this image I shot here. Hold on. So I shot this image here and this image was pretty dark. Um, it was during my workshop and this was one of the first shots where I was explaining how to build up my lights. Now, um, I'm going to draw a gradient mask from left to right here and press L and then just draw this gradient mask from left to right. And I'm also going to right click and say intersect with subject. So you click intersect with subject and you see that I can do a gradient mask that only affects part of my subject and I can gradually increase my brightness or exposure in such a way that it feels a bit natural. You can then erase this from things like the hair because you can see some artifacts here and all. You can right click on this and say subtract from people and once you go to people you can then pick hair clothes whatever it is you want to do so i'm just going to pick hair here and say create mask and that way it subtracts my mask from the hair and it affects only the other parts i intersects with so this is an amazing tool capture one i'm really happy that they've added this they keep giving us new tools to try and improve our workflow but combined mask is one that i am very very um, happy about and i've been using it so far uh, let me know if you've tried this out. If you can't wait to try it out, you can ask any questions you have in the comment section below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We're bringing you a lot more videos in the coming weeks. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next one.